Guys, no pretty 8K B-roll today. This is important. We now have the entire feature list for the One UI 3.1 update here with us today. And we will show you all of this at the end of this video. Nobody else has shared this with you as of today. So what I can tell you though is it is way more extensive than what we thought. And for this demonstration, we have chosen a non-Samsung laptop. In fact, it is a Microsoft Surface Go. And reason being is we want to make sure that you guys see this feature in action with any Windows device. So off we go. In order to activate the dual screen feature on your Tab S7 Plus, you pull down the quick settings and you will notice already this redesign right away. And you will also notice that the blue for activated function is much darker, much more blue than before. And I mean, there are small touches already you can see, but it is very noticeable right away. And when you come to the screen sharing icon, you press on it, of course. The screen that is popping up right now, this is important, will pretty much explain everything you need to do and need to know. And you can see this pulsing here a bit, which is a nice touch, but let's go to the bottom of the page. That is important. Here, you have two modes. Number one, drawing and gaming mode, which is the faster response mode. Number two, video mode, which is better playback, right? We're going to test both modes right now. Let's start with drawing and gaming. And this screen is really, really useful. You can see the instructions on here will also tell you what to do, what you need to do on your Windows laptop. Basically, it tells you here, simply press the Windows key and K button at the same time. And then you will see the list of all your devices coming up on the right hand side. It's kind of a slide out menu. You can see this here. And then you press your device name. Of course, we have the Galaxy Tab S7 Plus, my name on it. And then you go to change projection mode. This feature will enable you to choose the following. Disconnect duplicate, extend, and second screen only. And look, starting with duplicate, you can see here that we have an issue with the screen real estate on the Galaxy Tab S7 Plus. Oh my God. I checked all the settings in Windows and in the Tab S7, but there is no options to change that. And it may well be that the aspect ratio is doing its part here, right? Don't know. But this changes when we extend our workstation to the second display, like my favorite option, right? However, you still have some black bars visible. So it's not using the entire Type 7 Plus screen. And this may all be different with a Samsung laptop. I don't know, but we will test this also. What I can also tell you right away that the screen is basically being downgraded to probably 1080, what I can see here on the Type 7 Plus. And then last but not least, second screen only is also an option and you can do this here, but it's, it's not really for me. I use the extended version. So what happens when we use the extended screen option and want to draw on the Tab S7 Plus, right? Well, it is interesting. And I started with the Microsoft native application, their own whiteboard application. And as you can see, not really usable. I also tried OneNote. Mm, I wouldn't recommend that either. Super laggy. But here's the but. The solution for all of this is Samsung Notes. And despite the fact we are in screen sharing mode, you can use Samsung Notes and you can see here basically uh, the notes is resizable so that you can just take a quick note, smaller, bigger, or you have a bigger canvas available if needed. And now the interesting part here is when you use your Tab S7 Plus as an extended display, you can still go back and work on almost anything that is installed natively on your device. And what do I mean by this? Well, you can see here the dual display icon. I'm sorry, you can maybe not see this properly, but it's still visible on the right hand side on the top here, no matter where you go. I did some screen recording, but the icon was not visible. You can only see this on the screen from here. You can simply switch to your second screen or go back by tapping that icon. And then you go back to your whatever you do on your Type 7 plus you reply to an email, which you maybe just received in your private account. And that is just an example. There are so many more things you can do. So basically, you can go out of this second screen mode. You still have that icon available and it will pick up where you left it when you press it. As for video calls, obviously no problem. And you can switch the picture around to the device of your choice. I have to say though, it was laggy at times. Kind of overall experience was pretty laggy and I could do with some more fluid experience really when I think about it. But I'm going to check if this is different with a Samsung laptop like the Galaxy Book Flex, but I was wondering if you could switch the cameras between both devices. I did some real life examples here. And in Zoom, it is not possible. You're basically stuck with a source device camera, which is in our case, the Surface Laptop Go. When we move on to option two, which is the video 
option right it's supposed to be optimized for video playback and i'll try this i just pulled up some youtube one of our youtube videos and you can see here we've chosen that now when i was really curious about the quality we tried youtube's own 4k which is kind of almost 4k and compressed but it, it was okay it was slightly choppy and it's not like oh my god choppy but you can see the delay is kind of visible all the time as for the sound for the video it is coming out of the top s7 plus so that is contrary to the camera we have seen earlier with zoom which means you can choose which device you prefer to listen to right you can choose the sound but you can't choose the camera and that's uh, i don't know but that may be a limitation to somebody i don't really care but you can obviously use the second screen option for kind of presentation mode when using powerpoint and word i did run into some issues here it did let me draw on word sometimes and sometimes it didn't um so i don't know what the issue was was but one thing you have to make sure and this is very important when you go back to the beginning and you you choose the mode you want to go into you need to tick this little box here otherwise you will not be able to draw on your tab s7 plus for good whatsoever unless you this box is ticked so first impression i think it's great but it could do with an update to have a more fluid experience that was my overall thinking it wasn't as fluid as i would like to so i hope that samsung is hopefully listening to this and watching this but do an update and you know what you have a winning combination in your hands on your hand here in case you wonder this is the new menu settings and it's kind of a subtle redesign the overall theme of one ui 3.1 is really to be in line with your galaxy phone and you will definitely notice that your samsung phone menu is pretty much identical now to your tab 7 or tab 7 plus guys any questions let me know full feature list is coming up now hope you enjoyed the video give us a like and subscribe we never ask for it but today is today Peace out.